Okay, so we're going to um, solve these division problems of decimal numbers, and we are going to round out our answers uh, variously to one decimal place, to two decimal places, and to three decimal places. So let's uh, get on with it. Uh, let's set this out in a way that we can actually solve the equation. Okay, so 615.6 divided by 6. What I like to do sometimes is just put in a couple of extra zeros just in case I might need them. Okay, let's start. Uh, 6 going into 6, that goes once. Finish with that. 6 going into 1 goes 0 times, and the 1 is now carried over here. 6 into 15 is 2, and I have 3 left over. Uh, I'm up to the decimal point, so take the decimal point up and put it in straight away. 6 into 36 goes 6, and that is complete. So the answer I'll write up here is 102.6. And luckily, it is rounded off to one decimal place all by itself. Okay, so let's try the next one. Uh, we have to round to two decimal places for this one. So let's try it out. So it's 5, 8. Let me just do that again. It's a bit close. 5, 8. And it's going to be divided by oh, 0.25 divided by 4. Uh, and I'll actually stick another couple of zeros on the end just in case I need them. Okay, let's start solving. 4 into 5 goes once with 1 left over. 4 into 18 goes 4 with 2 left over. 4 into 25 goes 6 times with 1 left over. I'm up to the decimal point, so let's put the decimal point in. 4 into 12, that's 3 times, none left over. 4 into 5 goes once, with 1 left over. And 4 into 10 goes twice, with 2 left over. 4 into 2, okay, that finishes right there. So, I didn't actually need to go that far, because I only have to round to 2 decimal places. So, what that means is, once I have 3 decimal places, so 1, 2, 3, right? I can stop because I really need to focus on here, the second decimal place, and here, which is my indicator digit. So what I mean by an indicator digit, it tells me whether this digit, the digit in the second decimal place, it tells me whether that needs to stay a 1 or go up to a 2. So you'll remember that the rule is from 0 to 4, we consider that small, and if, it's, if the indicator number is 0 to 4, it's considered small, and so the digit in the second decimal place would not change. If it was 5 to 9, we can say it's big, and that means that digit in the second decimal place would change. It would be rounded up. However, it's a 2, so it's small, so this stays a 1. And the final answer can be written in as 146.31. And that's complete. Let's do the last one over here. So we've got 712.48. And that gets divided by 7. And let's start. So 7 into 7 goes once. 7 into 1 is 0. Carry that 1. 7 into 12 goes once with 5 left over. We're up to the decimal point. Put the decimal point in. 7 into 54, uh, that goes 7 times with 5 left over. 7 into 58 goes 8, with 2 left over. Okay, I'm going to need some zeros here by the looks. Uh, 7 into 20 goes twice, uh, and that leaves me with uh, 6 left over. Let me just make that a bit clearer. You can't see that 6. 6. 7 into 60 goes 8, and that's all I really need, because I have to round off here to three decimal places, remember. So I need to go to four decimal places. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. I've got everything I need. I can do this. So third decimal place is this one here. So here's the cutoff. This is my indicator number, and it's big this time. It's a big one, which means that the digit in the third decimal place has to go up. So what does that mean? The answer looks like this. One, zero, one, point... 7, 8, it's not 2, it has to go up because my indicator number is big. So it's 
three. And that is the correct answer.